Before we get started, I'd like to give a big shout out to our very first channel member, Abyssinian. Your support is greatly appreciated. The whole man, is making man, yo, man, man, I gotta admit, man, I I have to admit, I have to admit, man. CIG knows how to design ships, man. I'm really impressed with this ship. I'm really impressed with this ship, man. Like, I am really... This ship is beautiful. Like, when I would see the concept of it, I thought it was ugly, but it looks gorgeous, man. Look at it. It's beautiful, man. And I like, I like the fact that this is all glass. Like, oh, this is, this whole panoramic view that you get is, it's gorgeous, man. You know, it's gorgeous. Man, you know, so, so, okay. So th this is, this is why I'm so excited about this Hall A, right? I don't own it. But this is why I'm so excited about it, right? Hold on, let me let me get this. Right? This is why I'm so excited about the Hall A. Is the fact that like even though I've been I've been playing Star Citizen since I think 2000, 2015, 2016 around there. I've 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 gained I've earned a few ships, you know, so I've I'm used to it. I'm kind of desensitized to certain ships and stuff like that. But I still have that new, you know, player ambitions. Like in terms of like per, like the perspective of, you know, starting Star Citizen off as a new player, right? And then you, you let's say you start off with a, an Aurora package. You get an Aurora, you know, you get into the verse for the first time and you start grinding away start grinding away and you have some ambitions you know you want to get into different careers you know and trading is just one of those things right and then you know you walk over to a ship shop and you see the hall a just sitting there and you, you're like you know what this is the next ship i want to get i want to get into trading you know and you finally earn it you finally after like maybe a couple of weeks you make you earn enough money to actually buy a hall a and then you have this beautiful thing, right? And then you sit in it and this, you have this beautiful view, that new ship feel, you know, to finally be in your first in-game purchase ship that will introduce you into a new career of trading and to be out there on your own with a ship that has its own interior, has its own amenities inside, you know, I think it's really cool, man. You know, these early game ships is going to be like, it's, it's, it's really big, man. It really, I just get excited about it. Like, look at this, man. Look how beautiful it is on the inside. Let me see if I could, let me see if I give you guys some, uh, some perspective here. Look how beautiful it is, man. Your brand new ship. This is you right here. Your brand new ship. You know? Like, I think, I think this is exciting, man. This, this excites me, you know? I think it's really cool. You know, look at that. That new ship, that new ship feel. It's gorgeous, man. You know? Yeah, man, I'm really, I'm really impressed with this ship, man. I'm sure they had a lot, a lot of technical challenges and hurdles that they had to get through. But I'm happy that they're finally getting this thing out, man. This is really cool. This is a really cool ship. It's a really cool ship. It's a really cool ship. All right. Um, I know I missed a few comments. CCIG is bringing up room pressure and deep pressure. Maybe uh, they're about to finally release that feature. I hope so, bro. I hope so. And I hope that the fact that they could identify where there is pressure and where there isn't, it could help us. It could help them introduce the idea where like you're not wearing your helmet before you go outside, you get a warning that lets you know that you don't have your helmet on. I think they could code that in real, real easy once you get close, you know, um, but that's, that'll be really cool. 
and then uh the pressure that would really like the room pressures i think once they add that in then i think they could introduce that into game mechanics where in such a way that you know you go to a pirate base you could use that to your advantage pressure pressurizing or depressurizing fires inside of ships i think it's also coming along with that as well so it's going to be really cool man and oxygenating your ship is going to be a thing life the life support system is probably going to come online with that so i look forward to that man all right yeah stop it shouldn't be this good looking for a hauler <laughs> it's too beautiful man look at it it's gorgeous man look at this this is a ship i would own I, i'm definitely gonna get this in game if i don't end up pledging for it you know scroll says it's a clean and neat ship it is i agree I agree prettier than i expected um borrowed more um borrowed more from the prospector top pick than the freelancer do the miss manufacturer yes i i agree man you know what i'm really happy that they went for the prospector's look because if you look at the front right it has this panoramic view that you have like i feel like you could see more Hold on. I saw, it seems like right here. Yeah, there's glass right here. There's glass right here. You don't really get to see all this through here, but it still still has that freelancer look. But I'm sure above, you could also see above as well. So it's cool. 